How's it going? It's Vinny. This is the world according to Vinny. And today, I'm going to do uh, top news of last week. I'm calling this preaching on the patio. It's where I'm at. I'm on my patio. So, we're going to hit a couple stories. Uh, um, some uh, news stories from last week. So, let me get right into it. Um, first one... Um, a passionate Alabama TV anchor and former college football player, he's the one that broke the infamous Bill Clinton tarmac meeting with then Attorney General Loretta, Loretta Lynn Lynch. Uh, he died Saturday, according to reports, and his employer. Christopher Sign, he was 45, was found dead Saturday morning by the Hoover Police in Scout Terrace Home, according to uh, AlabamaAL.com. Uh, the death is being investigated as a suicide. Suicide by Clintons. Possibly. Hoover Lieutenant Keith Zabelta said, according to the outlet, Chris was a tremendous leader in our newsroom, wrote ABC 3340 on Saturday in tribute. So, one more. I think that's like 50. Anyway, you make the decision. Hey, um... Uh, Next story was up. Sections of fans at Wembley Stadium booed English players for taking a knee before the European Championship game against Croatia on Sunday. The boos, which could be heard over those fans applauding, came despite pleas from the team to respect the anti-racist gesture. Croatia's players did not take a knee as expected. Way to go, Croatia. Croatia. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Well, give them a thumbs up, according to Vinny. I think you're doing the right thing. Now, with her recent trip to Guatemala and Mexico, Vice President Kamala Harris appears to have succeeded in drawing more attention to the fact that she hasn't visited the U.S.-Mexican border region. Saturday was the 81st day that Harris hasn't visited the region since taking on the role of manager of the Biden administration's response to the migrant crisis. Harris' performance in that role drew more scrutiny Saturday, including from the host of Fox News' The Big Saturday Show. They claim Harris has been sending mixed messages on immigration. No kidding. At first claiming to be an advocate for illegal immigrants and then traveling to Central America last week and telling migrants do not come. Fox News contributor Sean Duffy argued that Harris may be trying to avoid border, avoiding the border out of concern for her own political future. Well, she had no future. Uh, got less than, I don't know if she got any... Uh, uh, percentage points in Iowa, so the only reason she's where she's at is because Joe picked her. Who? Wow. Kind of two peas in a pod, in my opinion. Prior to the New, England, uh, New York Islanders game, uh, game six victory over the Boston Bruins on Wednesday night, Nicole Raviv, who regularly sings the Star Spangled Banner at Nassau Coliseum, wanted to keep the momentum going for the Long Island crowd. Sea Islanders fans helped out Raviv before Game 4 as she experienced some technical difficulties with her microphone while singing the anthem. Even though there was no sound, Raviv told Fox News in an interview on Thursday afternoon that she continued to sing, giving honor and respect to the national anthem. And the fans jumped in as they usually do during playoffs, but sang louder than ever to make up for what happened. As soon as her sound returned, the fans continued to cheer and kept singing. She said, I felt so honored to be singing with a fan base who is united, passionate, and who's there for each other. They had my back. It was truly wonderful, she said to Fox News. Before Game 6, uh, her goal was to keep it going because it was something that the Islander fans are organically created. So during the anthem, she decided to turn the microphone to the fans, give them a voice. It was truly their energy that made me turn my mic and give them the stage. They bring such electric atmosphere to the Coliseum. Uh, they needed to be heard. Video of the moment, as many called it, surfaced all over social media. She said it was a moment that belonged to all of us. The Islander fans demonstrated a celebration of our people, our flag, and our country coming together as one, she said. The reactions are filled with pride and emotion. Thousands of people together again, singing in unison after such a difficult year we were forced to be a part. It's truly incredible to be witnessing such... Um, a group of live fans with a full stadium again. What a way to end. Um, what a way to end on this episode. 
of I'm trying preaching on the patio. I had to think what do I called it. Preaching on the patio. So I'm gonna do this once a week. I'm um, gonna try to do something to highlight some stories that grass you know gets to me and I think that needs to be shared. Um, I've already got a plan when I move to Florida. I'm gonna call it chatting in the car carport. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So preaching on the pat patio, according to Vinny. And this is the world according to Vinny. So check us out. Check, uh, make sure you hit the link um, to subscribe and to give me a like if you would. And also at the bottom, if you're buying from Amazon, there's a link. If you could do that, click that. That helps me out a little bit uh, on the YouTube channel. So this is Vinny. This is the world according to Vinny. Take care. Have a great day.